armed with rubber bullets, stun grenades and batons. Israeli police entered Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque compound in force. While thousands were gathered for early morning prayers during the Muslim holy month of Ramadan. They say they went in to disperse Palestinians who were throwing stones and firecrackers toward the nearby Western Wall, a Jewish prayer area. Some Palestinians barricaded themselves inside the mosque as they fought back. They brutally emptied the compounds. They were attacking the employees, normal people, the elderly, younger people. Many were injured. They were firing rubber bullets. They were beating everyone, even the paramedics. The clashes followed three tense weeks of violence. Heightening these tensions, the Jewish holiday of Passover overlaps with Ramadan this year. They also happened at the most sensitive location in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The Al-Aqsa compound sits on a site sacred in both Islam and Judaism. The confrontations there risk sparking a slide back into a broader resurgence of violence. The occupation knows that the Al-Aqsa Mosque is a red line that must not be crossed. For this mosque, we sacrifice our hearts and blood, and we condemn it on behalf of our people and all those present at the mosque. A spokesman for the Israeli Prime Minister said that police had detained hundreds of Palestinians. The Palestinian Foreign Ministry said it holds Israel fully and directly responsible for this crime and its consequences.